My name's Kelly, I'm a CBT therapist and psychologist. And today we're going to play some little tricks on our brain to kind of show us how it works. So if I was to ask you a question, so Mary's mother has four children, April, May, June, what would the fourth one be called? If you answered July, your brain has been tricked. So the correct answer is Mary, because Mary's mother has four children. But our brain is built to be efficient. It looks for patterns in everything. And even though that the correct answer from that is contained in the first two words of the riddle, your brain automatically goes to July because that's the next month. So with our brain, it recognises patterns because it allows us to predict and expect what's coming. It's helped us to survive for millions of years because this pattern of recognition allows us to match information that we've already received in our brain to things that are going on around us. So it knows why we kind of, if we're walking down a street and we see a car coming, we know to maybe step back and not cross the street. And we do that because the brain has made connection and sometimes it can make connections between memories or it can make connections in maybe things that we've read or things that we've seen. And it allows us to predict what we think would be the next step in the pattern. And this can sometimes be why situations can feel really familiar familiar to us, even if we haven't been in that situation before, or maybe where we go somewhere and we feel like we've been there before, sometimes with deja vu. But it's because we've got this pattern recognition going on in our brain that fools us or tricks us into thinking that we know what the next step. And of course... This can be super, super helpful for us, but sometimes it can make us feel uncomfortable or give us wrong pieces of information, such as telling us that Mary's um, mother's other child would have been July. So it's always important to be curious, to know that our brain is there to protect us, but sometimes it can get things wrong. So when we're doing this, it's just to be aware because our brain does these things because it needs to do so many other things really to kind of keep the energy going in our body and really keeping us alive. So just be curious to what your brain's telling you that is it telling you is it an accurate depiction of what's going on or is it the pattern recognition and identification coming in that maybe quite skew your experience of what's going on. I hope that's just a little bit of fun just to kind of give you an insight into what goes on inside your brain. If you would like to see any other videos, please drop it in the comments and as always, please like and subscribe. Thank you.